welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday. It is massive grocery haul day. I just got home, put everything away, hence this beautiful glow I have going on. I have a huge grocery haul for you. I did my monthly stock up at Costco, I went to Walmart, and Trader Joe's, lots of new exciting food finds, and just a massive, massive haul. So if you're excited for another big grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd absolutely love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell next to it. That way you don't miss a single upload. It is grocery haul day every Saturday, so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized individual to you macros and calories, so incredibly important important to be successful, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're interested in chatting with me individually to set some goals and let me help you along your health journey. You can find all of that on my nutrition coaching website. Also down in the description box are links and discounts to my favorite things. And last, but most certainly not least, my Facebook group. We'd love to have you head on over and join us there. It's a fun community as well. So let's jump in to a huge, and I mean huge, massive grocery haul. Holy smokes. You guys, I'm exhausted from doing all of this grocery shopping. It was major stock up time. It's Mother's Day. We were out of a lot of the staples in our household. So I have a massive, massive haul for you. So let's go ahead and jump in. I picked up some cream of tartar. I actually need this for a meal prep recipe. This seems to be a hot commodity because this was the only brand left at Walmart. And of course it's the super expensive brand, but I picked it up, it'll last a long time. And again, I did need it for a recipe. Also some sesame seeds. Again, this was the only option at Walmart and we are completely out. I use these a lot in cooking, so I just picked up the big jar. A six pack of organic mangoes from Costco. This was such a great deal, it was just over seven dollars for six mangoes some of them are ripe some of them aren't so it should be perfect timing for me to enjoy those this next week i did pick up two strawberry cleo bars and i actually bought these at walmart before i went to costco and i have kind of an exciting find for you at costco but i did pick up two of those a packet of garlic parm wing sauce and a packet of taco seasoning i wanted to have the garlic parmesan on hand i like to put that on chicken it just really adds some good flavor and then we are having a taco recipe this next week so i picked up some taco seasoning again all of this was purchased before going to Costco so keep that in mind the 30 bag box of classic mixed chips these are for Troy's lunch he does go back to work before I go to Costco again and these are currently on coupon for ten dollars for the entire box a restock on paper towels we're down to our last couple of rolls light sour cream this is for a dinner recipe and if you know you know we always like to have sour cream on hand a restock of prune juice for Troy again if you know you know I did pick up the cheese it snapped the big bag at Costco these are currently on coupon as well and it was just over five dollars for the bag and I really like these I love cheese it's and these are just a thinner crispier version they're really delicious two bottles of kombucha I still have quite a few bottles left in my fridge so I did pick up one of my favorites the spring edition from GT's this is elderflower jasmine and violet this one is really good so I just picked up two bottles that way I have enough for the entire week Sargento ultra thin sharp cheddar I needed some cheese for a recipe and I haven't bought the ultra thin in a long time and I actually really like their sharp cheddar so I picked that up also an 18 pack of the organic happy eggs from Walmart best price for organic eggs you guys know happy egg is the best i'm obsessed with their new packaging it's so cute with all these little eggs and chickens trader joe's organic shredded mozzarella i love this cheese and this is a great dupe for the old trader joe's light mozzarella you can have an entire cup of this for two points and it is so good it's so melty and creamy it is a little expensive it's five dollars for this bag and this is an eight ounce bag but in my opinion this is the best mozzarella cheese that i've ever had also from costco the three pack of organic chicken tenderloins every time i go to costco i pick this up you can just toss it in your freezer and that way i always have chicken on hand some sun dried tomatoes i actually need this for a dinner recipe i also like to chop these up and put these in pasta and on salad three cans of the campbell healthy request cream of chicken 
I actually have several recipes this week that ask for cream of chicken soup. So I went ahead and just picked up three cans. New salad dressing or new to me. I was really excited about this. This is the Healthy Choice Plant Powered Garden Ranch. What's amazing about this is it does not have carrageenan in it and Bolt House does. And this is the same calories and points as Bolt House, but you don't have to have carrageenan. So this I was really excited about. I've not tried it yet, but I'll definitely report back to you guys and let you know. They had French and a green goddess at Walmart as well. Sugar-free banana cream pudding. I'm actually making a banana pie parfait type of a thing. My mother-in-law, my husband's stepmom, so or my mother-in-law is coming over on Monday visiting from Arizona and we're having lunch. So for dessert, I'm going to make a parfait, a banana cream pie parfait. And we needed some pudding for that. Troy asked for a refill of the Kraft Light Mayo. Also some more sleep gummies. Both Troy and I take these off and on. Since I've been taking my probiotic from Thrive, I definitely don't need these as much, but I do like to have these on hand. Both of us do just on those nights where it's just a little hard for us to fall asleep and these gummies are on sale on coupon as well. Minced onion you can't beat two dollars and 59 cents for this huge container. I actually use minced onion a lot. It's a great substitution if you don't want to take time to chop up a fresh onion or for smaller bits or a more mild taste. I also picked myself up some new vitamins. So these Smarty Pants Women's Formula. These have omega-3 in it which was the reason I picked these up. These are gummies as well. I'm out of my regular daily vitamin. So I picked these up there on coupon right now for $16.99. So $5 off the normal price. And I also picked up the hair, skin and nails gummies. Now I've looked at these for a very long time, never bought them, but they're on coupon for $9.99. So I picked them up. I figured between this and the collagen, I should have the best looking hair, skin and nails. A can of original Rotel for a taco recipe. A can of green beans for the you know who's. Actually all three dogs really like having green beans after dinner. And a can of black beans. Beans. This is also for the taco recipe. I have been hearing all about this Kinder's, the blend, salt, pepper, and garlic. And apparently this is the best seasoning out there. So I'm really excited for this. It was less than $6 for the big container. It is organic, which I like to see. A bottle of Ménage a Trois Moscato wine. This was on clearance at Walmart for $8.50. It says the original price is $11.50. I don't know why it was on sale, but the only wine I like is Moscato because it's sweet. So I actually picked this up for when my mother-in-law comes over on Monday. As part of our lunch for my mother-in-law, I grabbed this hand-pulled rotisserie chicken breast meat. Now, I normally don't buy the rotisserie chicken from Costco because I don't know if you can see, right there is carrageenan, and I don't eat carrageenan, but for the sake of an easy lunch for us, I'll show you what else I picked up. I just grabbed this. I will not eat this past the lunch, but I know Troy will go ahead and finish that off, and it's pre-pulled, only the white meat and ready to go, so that's really convenient. A loaf of rye bread. I'm actually making patty melts this next week, which I'm really excited about. Fun fact about me, that is the one thing I always get when we go out for dinner. I'm a big burger girl and I love patty melts because of the grilled onions and the rye bread. So we're going to make them at home. I bought these a long, long, long time ago when I discovered these at Walmart. These are really, really good. They have no artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. They're made with real fruit and they're only 60 calories a piece. They're like little buns or little bagels. They're called snacking rounds. The blueberry is so good. They do expire on the 17th. So if I don't eat them up, I usually just pop them in my freezer and then defrost one as needed, but they're really delicious. And I got these at Walmart. They also had apple cinnamon. Some garlic breadsticks for lunch with my mother-in-law. A restock of my collagen peptides. Every month when I go to Costco, I pick up another container. I put one to two scoops of this in my coffee every single morning. And I've noticed a huge, huge difference in my skin, my joints, my nails, my hair. I will link the video where I talk all about collagen and its benefits. I did this on my nutrition channel. I'll link it down in the description box if you haven't seen it and you're wondering if picking up collagen would be beneficial for you. Also some mini Nilla wafers. This is for the banana cream pie parfaits. A restock of our heartburn medicine. Me and Troy take this every single day. Now this was a super exciting find at Costco. A lot of you have reached out and said that you've seen these at your Costco. I have never seen these until today. This is the no sugar added Clio bar. These are extremely expensive on the Clio website. This entire box was only $13.99. There are six 
teen Cleo bars. Do you see the white chocolate? That's what I am so excited about. You receive eight of the peach chocolate coated, which is delicious, and eight of the mixed berry yogurt coated. These are only 100 calories and three smart points for the entire Cleo bar, where the normal Cleo bars, the strawberry ones I picked up at Walmart are six points. So good, just some unique different flavors, and I can't wait to try the yogurt covered one. A restock of Troy's French onion dip so that he can dip his corn chips in there. I was really excited to see Cocoa Whip at Walmart. I generally have to go to a local health food store to find this, but my Walmart had this and I'm going to use this in those parfaits for Mother's Day. I hauled these a couple weeks ago and I actually just had, I just had these for lunch the other day. These are incredibly, incredibly delicious. They are so, so good, so filling, such a great lunch. You can have the entire box of six dumplings for 250 calories, and then it's 25 calories for the sauce, which is delicious. So I decided to pick up another box. These came in really handy when I just was in a pinch for something healthy for lunch. A restock of Troy's corn chips for his French onion dip. These are the Nyla Bone Broth Bones beef flavor. My dogs love these. You get 54 of them in the pack. They were under $15. I just break them in half and then give half to Diesel and half to Lola. They're grain free with limited ingredients and highly digestible. Highly recommend these. My dogs love them. I did pick up a big pack of taco seasoning. It was on sale at Costco. I know I picked up the one packet, but we're completely out and we go through a lot of taco seasoning. So this is such a great deal at under $5. A two pack of Listerine because this is our favorite mouthwash and we were completely out. A new find at my Costco. My favorite granola is Purely Elizabeth. I love it because it has nice, clean ingredients. It's organic, keto certified, and certified paleo five grams of protein and only four grams of added sugar per serving. This is the grain free granola in vanilla almond butter with MCT oil. I like to just put a tablespoon of this on my yogurt and it's so good. So I had to pick that up. It was on coupon for $9.99. The small bag is $6 at Target. And tucked back here is a big pack of the Chobani Less Sugar Greek yogurt in Monterey Strawberry, Madagascar Vanilla, Wild Blueberry, and Gill Cherry. I picked this up because I'm out of yogurt and I love to get that big punch of protein for very minimal points and calories and I thought that that would pair really nicely with my granola. I bought another bag, you guys, of this Creators Cheese and Caramel Mix. Troy and I are obsessed with this. This is the best caramel popcorn ever. He doesn't like the cheese, but I do, so this is $6.99 for this huge bag. It's the best. It's not bad in points and calories, and it is so incredibly good. Everything else is produce. I picked up a big bag of my favorite sweet onions from Trader Joe's, some fresh bananas for the banana cream parfaits. I lied, not everything is produce. This is such a big haul. I lost some of the items buried beneath, but I did grab a pack of the La Banderita carb counter wraps. I wanted the Mission Extra Thin corn tortillas for a couple recipes. They didn't have a single corn tortilla at Walmart, so I just picked these up and I'll substitute this for those recipes. Some shredded cabbage. I'm making shrimp tacos, which I'm so excited about. Troy won't eat them, so I'm actually making them in my meal prep on Monday, so stay tuned for that. Baby spinach for a recipe. A bag of the Trader Joe's Teeny Tiny Avocados. I love these. They're so small that I can eat the entire avocado in one sitting, and I don't have to worry about it turning brown or going bad, so I I always pick those up. A bag of lemons for my water. I did pick up a watermelon at Trader Joe's because it's watermelon season. This is mine and Troy's favorite fruit. So you'll be seeing this probably every week throughout the entire summer. A bag of Granny Smith apples. This is for a recipe I have coming out on Monday in meal prep. A couple of limes for my shrimp tacos and then whatever's left over I throw in my water. Cilantro for the shrimp tacos. Organic blueberries from Costco. This is for fruits for the week. So I have the watermelon, the mangoes, and the blueberries. Another non-produce item is this pasta salad. If you watch my videos, you know that I haul this every Costco trip during the summer for Troy. It is seasonal at Costco, so it's only there in the summer months, and he loves it. I don't like it at all, but he loves this salad. He actually doesn't even know that I picked this up, so when he comes in from bringing Palmer out, I'll show him. I know he's going to be super excited. And then when my mother-in-law comes for lunch, I decided to do a Caesar salad. We'll top it with that rotisserie chicken, and then we'll have those banana parfaits for dessert. So I picked up this pre-made Caesar salad with dressing, croutons, and lemons. It was less than $9. 
can't beat it. And that, my friends, is my massive stock up grocery haul. Again, I only go to Costco once a month, so I usually stock up there. And then I went to Walmart and Trader Joe's. So let's jump into what you'll be seeing for meal prep on Monday and what's on my menu for dinner. So here is this week's meal plan. These are my dinners for the week, 5, 8 through 5, 14. Today, Saturday, out to dinner per the usual. I think we might pick up a pizza because we can't go out to dinner with the puppy, unfortunately. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making Tuscan chicken mac and cheese, you guys. I can't wait for this. You will be seeing this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. Monday is patty melt. I'm also very excited for that. Tuesday is always a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm making taco pie. Thursday, poppy seed chicken. This recipe sounds really good. And then Friday is also a leftover night, so we can eat up anything from these previous recipes at the beginning of the week. Here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. I'm so excited for these recipes. For breakfast, I'm making coffee cake cannot wait. Lunch is those shrimp tacos. And then for a snack, I'm finally making those snickerdoodle bars. A lot of you asked about these because I switched my mind at the last minute last week, but you will be seeing that and these other two recipes on Monday in meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's massive WW grocery haul. I hope you found some great inspiration for some new food find or ideas. I hope you're excited for Monday's meal prep. It's going to be another fantastic week of recipes. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or you haven't subscribed, don't forget before you leave to hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our community. Down in the description box again is nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there as well. I hope you have a beautiful Saturday, a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!